the internet is a very wonderful and yet dangerous tool when it comes to students especially. Uh, like kids in a candy store, we've let our students loose in an environment that's full of really great information and also a whole bunch of unreliable, politically motivated, incorrect, misleading, distracting stuff. So let me introduce you to the narrator, the faculty member, and the student. As we're going to suggest how this problem manifests and then talk about some ways to potentially resolve it. So, and this doesn't work. I have to do this. Okay. Uh, Dr. Calhoun, I am very excited to be in your class and please accept my first assignment, the current events that I wrote on Cummins. I had a lot of fun with it. <sighs> Miss Student, I, I'm glad you had a lot of fun with this. And I found the article interesting and enjoyed reading about Pat Cummins. However, the assignment was supposed to be a current event of an international firm called Cummins. Uh, Dr. Calhoun, I, I'm really sorry. I mean, when I searched, I found a lot of stuff on Cummins. I typed in Cummins and News, and then it led to this story about this guy named Pat Cummins and he was expanding internationally so I thought that had something to do with your class and, and I'm really really sorry. Ms. Student, I hope you can do better with the next assignment. For this next assignment I would like you to be trying to analyze the corporate strategy of Cummins and I'm providing to you a bunch of links and to get you to information about the firm and, and other things that we'll be talking about in this course, including international issues, um, international organizations, and company information. Dr. Calhoun, sorry again about the current events paper. Um, for the firm analysis paper, I, I really feel much better about this. Here's what I have for a first paragraph, and, and I wanted to ask you, how does it look? Well, I can see from what you submitted, sorry, I can see from what you submitted that uh, with all the uh, links and so on, that the paragraph was probably copied in, and I'm glad you checked with me early so you can correct this because the assignment was supposed to be written in your own words. Oh. I'm so sorry again, Dr. Calhoun, and I can't get this thing to go forward, and it doesn't want to budge. There we go. Um, when I looked up Cummins, I found all this great information, and I found a lot of it in this one place. This thing's not working. Huh? You pointed at the computer. Oh, okay. I found a lot of it in this great place called Wikipedia, and it had some really, really good information for me. <laughs> Well, Ms. Student, I can see that you got some good information from Wikipedia. In fact, it looks like you copied the entire paragraph straight out of Wikipedia, which if you take a look at the instructions for the assignment, you're going to find um, you were not supposed to be doing. Uh, this, is, this should have been in your own words. Oh. Now I see that I shouldn't have done that, but um, I, I'm, I'm going to try better. I promise. I promise going forward. Well, Miss Student, I hope so, because uh, in the next assignment, and this is the final assignment, I'm going to send you to places so you can look and see what you can find on your own. And the first place I'm sending you is the CIA World Factbook, so you can find out information about Japan as you now try to analyze the country and then consider Cummings and its activities in Japan. Why is this not wanting to go forward? I have to go backwards to go forwards. Oh, wow, this is great. I, I got exactly to where you sent me with that link and so now I could, I could get into the CIA World Factbook and find out lots of information about Japan. There's all this stuff. I even found this great overview paragraph that talks about the economy of Japan and then that GDP information that you wanted, well, it was all right there. 
So it was really easy to get. And then in the next one, you sent me to the world competitiveness, and I was able to look up the rankings of the country. And you know, Japan's right in there. It's like really high up. They do really good. And so I was real pleased to find this stuff for my paper. And there's even all this other information that's just really neat. I, I think I'm going to use some of it in the paper. There's just tons of stuff. And then finally, in the World Bank, oh my gosh, there's country profiles, that information, the data that was there. I found it really easily. You told me to look part way down, and I just had a click, and it was really simple. And look at all this material that I was able to find on Japan when you sent me there. Well, that's great. Miss Student, and I'm so glad this is working for you. I'm glad to know that so far you're doing well gathering this information. And don't forget to go find the additional firm information, including what you're going to need from, say, for example, data monitor. Oh my gosh. I, I can, this is cool. This SWOT analysis, I could use it in like a lot of courses. I mean, it's just great. And it lays it out so neatly. I never would have thought to go here. And then you sent me to Hoover's. And I, I didn't really understand what that was. And yeah, I did have to go back and find it through the library because the first time they asked me to pay for it. So thank you for telling me I didn't actually have to pay for it. But when I got there, there was so much stuff on Hoover's. It was just phenomenal. So Dr. Calhoun, I have been able to use all these great links that you've given me to be able to better understand the instructions, to gather a lot of knowledge, I was able then to analyze the information you provided me and it forced me to synthesize things. And I'm really hoping in this final paper that my evaluation and all my opinions are really solid because you know I, I, I really want to do better and, and after all I still need to make up for that first paper. So as you can see, throughout this experience, Dr. Calhoun was able to get the student to move through Bloom's taxonomy so that she was able with the links to get the students to have a better appreciation of the knowledge that's out there, learn more, be able to understand it better, apply it to real world concepts, analyze, synthesize, and even reach a point of being able to evaluate all of that information. And so, Miss Student, I am glad I was able to help. I hope you can use some of these data sources in future projects for other courses and I wish you the best of luck going forward. The end.